In this video, we're going to be using Inkscape, which is a program that is used to draw vector graphics. There are others, like Serif Draw Plus, you can draw vector graphics, and also Adobe Illustrator. You can find this on the public drive, and then we go into ICT. Uh -oh. Let's find it. So click up the top, ICT and then into programs there we are and here is the program called inkscape this is completely free and you can download it at home so if i run inkscape it will take a little while just to load up the main difference between a vector graphics program and the other type which is a bitmap graphics program like photoshop is that instead of drawing with pixels little squares you're drawing with shapes. So these shapes are then editable, but because they're defined through mathematics, that means that you can zoom in to any level you like and your image will still be perfect. So let's get Inkscape into view. Here we are. So you've got a zoom at the front here and you can zoom in and out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a penguin. So first of all, I'm going to draw a shape. Now what you'll notice is that it fills the shape in. And if I want to change the shape fill, I can right click on one of the colors and say set fill, just like that. I'm going to draw another shape. And it's drawn it in black already. Now because this is vector graphics, not bitmap graphics, both of these shapes are independent like this. So I'm going to give my penguin some arms and what I'm going to do is now that I've drawn the ellipse for the arm if I select it I can actually click on it once more and I can rotate it like that so we get a nice arm shape. I can copy it and then I can paste it. And if I want to flip it around, what I can do is I can go back to my stretchy bit and I can just flip it over like so. Now if I hold down the tools here, if I hold down the tool, I'll get the ellipse and I can hold down the control key and you see it makes it a perfect circle. Uh, sorry. You can stretch it out a bit, but it puts it on a grid, so it's much easier to make it a perfect circle. So I'm going to set the fill color to white on that circle, and then I'm going to move it over on top of our penguin like that. Copy and paste just like that. Now to draw the beak I'm going to want to use a triangle. Now I could either create a triangle shape from here by creating a shape with three corners or I can use this tool which lets me draw lines. So click, 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 click like that. And then I can set the fill again to yellow and I can move my triangle on here. Last of all, I'm going to create the feet. So I'm going to show you another feature of this tool here. So I can click, but if I then click and drag, it allows me to create a sort of bendy line like that. And there we are, a nice set of feet. So have an experiment with that. Now, if you do it incorrectly, you can actually click on this tool here, at which point you can start to drag about some of these points. You can change it from a angled point, like this one, and you can make it into a smooth point, like that. I'm going to come back. And you see the penguin's feet are on top of his body. I'm just going to resize them a bit. 
So what we need to do then is we need to send it to the back. So we can use this one here. And there we are, a perfectly serviceable penguin. Apart from, of course, we're missing one thing, which is a nice ellipse about this size. With a fill like that. And then let's move it onto his belly. Select the beak and move it up to the top. And there we are, a lovely penguin. We can do a couple of other things. So we can select the whole penguin like this. And we can actually right click and we can duplicate the entire penguin. So now we've got two penguins. You can also do all sorts of things in terms of grouping uh, items together. You can resize the whole penguin at once. What I'm just going to show you is the zoom in. So if I now zoom in to our penguin, oh, I went a little bit far there, but you can see that, I'm just going to move his eye so we can see the corner, that it's absolutely perfect no matter how far you zoom in. So we've gone in over 6,000 times and the image is still perfect, which is very different from the images we're usually used to. Have a play with the features, see what you can do, see if you can add some individual style to your penguin.